Howdy folks, Jason Snyder here, amateur meteorite hunter. No, I'm not a bank robber. Today I'm hunting meteorites. I'm actually down at Holbrook, Arizona. Today I decided to uh, come down here and try my luck at uh, hunting Holbrook. I've only hunted one other time here and didn't have any success. It was only for a couple of hours. Uh, today I just got started. Um, the area is uh, pretty flat for the most part and lots of rocks, all kinds of things. Um, it's uh, kind of wide open. There's my car over there. Uh, I've only been at it probably about 10 minutes now, just actually walking from the car to here. And lo and behold, I came across my first Holbrook. So I'm pretty excited. Right there it is. You can watch it jump to the magnet, which is ever so slight. But nonetheless, I found my first Holbrook. So needless to say, I am pretty happy, pretty stoked, finding the first one within 10 minutes. This is Jason Snyder, amateur meteorite hunter down at Holbrook. We're gonna continue the hunt, see if we can't find some more meteorites. Uh, unfortunately, it is hot, it's about 93 degrees, and a very light breeze, if that. So uh, I'm gonna try my luck and uh, continue to hunt down here. But nonetheless, first one of the day. It's a small one, but it's a Holbrook. So I'm pretty stoked. So here's my first Holbrook. It weighed in at just under a gram. I couldn't believe that I found it within 10 minutes of entering the field, but I knew that it wasn't going to be easy for the next three days. I had to really use the sun and had to use my eyes to find more meteorites. All right, folks. Well, uh, I was uh, continuing to hunt and uh, came across another small meteorite down here at Holbrook. Um, it is very, very tough hunting down here. Um, I'm using just uh, nothing more than a magnet cane. And um, I came over and was working basically this kind of area. I mean, just, you know, little blowouts here and there. And right there is a little guy. And sure enough, it is a, it is a meteorite. So there's the second one of the day. Um, it's taken quite a while to find this one. But nonetheless, there we go, second Holbrook. So uh, they are still here. And Hi folks, day two uh, hunting Holbrook. Uh, it's a little past eight, uh, about 8.30 I guess. And uh, it's already hot. Um, I was kind of worried about the rains yesterday and uh, all the storms that came through Phoenix and uh, the uh, monsoonal flow of uh, Arizona. Uh, I got out here to Holbrook and uh, lo and behold it's still dry, which is a good thing. So um, I started uh, working my way over uh, from that area and coming over trying to hit some of these blowouts again. Um, just trying to look, trying to use the sun to my advantage. And uh, I came over here and basically you got to touch every rock and I'll kind of zoom in on it. But there's a nice little Holbrook. Still uh, just sitting out there on the surface, and uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not, but oh, there we go. And it jumps to the, uh, the magnet cane. So, first Holbrook of uh, day two, uh, third Holbrook ever, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, I'm going to hunt this area and just see what I can find. Um, it's been hit, you know, um, quite hard. Um, lots of meteorites, lots, lots, thousands of meteorites, I think, have been pulled from this area. So um, pretty much just finding the small ones, pretty much like that. So day two ended with a total of uh, 18 total meteorites, uh, giving the grand total of 20. I had a lot of fun, but uh, got overheated pretty fast. I actually had to take a break during the day. Um, I had plenty of water, but uh, it was just really hot out there with no breeze at all. So you definitely need to be prepared for hunting in the desert. Well, folks, uh, day three of uh, hunting Holbrook. And... Uh, We've been hunting now for uh, just a little over an hour and a half, almost two hours. Uh, we were down um, pretty much uh, heading east and uh, didn't find anything, so we decided to come back to uh, an area that we hunted yesterday uh, further west. And I came across this guy, which 
I touched it with the magnet and it came out. But as you can see, there is a beautiful Holbrook. Uh, probably about 10 grams or so. So, beautiful, beautiful meteorite. Um, cube for comparison there. But uh, obviously they're still here, just very, very far and few between. So here's a picture of the meteorite. Unfortunately, it didn't weigh in at 10 grams. It actually weighed in at 8 grams. But nonetheless, it's still a beautiful specimen for a Holbrook. I'm going to take and add this to my collection, and I couldn't believe that I had actually found it. What a great way to end a three days hunting at Holbrook. So here are my finds for three days worth of hunting Holbrook, Arizona. I had everything from uh, barely reading on the scale all the way up to the big one that's in the upper right hand corner of 8 grams. Holbrook is a great place to hunt, very easy hunting, I recommend it to anybody. There's probably a little bit less meteorites out there now than there was uh, several months ago, but nonetheless, it is a great time, enjoy, until next time.